A rose is a symbol of love, loss, and renewal. And as we near Valentine's Day, one local hospital is honoring families who turned their loss into hope for others. Naja Sherman takes us to the gift of life ceremony at Children's Mercy Hospital. Take a look at the precious faces on this quilt. These people are no longer with us, but their legacy lives on. Today's event honored 25 families who donated their loved ones' organs to save the lives of others. We also heard from Michelle Shanahan DeMoss, Blair Shanahan Lane's mother. Blair died after she was hit in the neck by a stray bullet on July 4th. Her organs saved the lives of five other people. We also spoke with a teenager who is alive today thanks to an organ donor. I think about it every day and even coming to places like this and seeing other people that have had their family donate, it just makes you think even more about it and be more appreciative. In 2011, 176 lives were saved because of organ donors. Reporting at Children's Mercy Hospital, Naja Sherman, 41 Action News. Those are just the local numbers. Nationally, more than 28,000 lives in the U.S. were saved through organ transplants. For additional information on becoming an organ donor, go to KSHB.com and look under International News.